G'day there, Dogs fans. Uh, my name's Mitch Wallace, and I'm here with Joel Corey to uh, preview the Round 14 Clash with Collingwood. So first of all, how are you doing, Joel? You had a good week? Well, thanks, mate. I'm going well. That's good. Right, we'll get stuck into it. Um, obviously, a great win by the boys on the weekend, but what are some, some talking points? What are some things that we learned about the game? Obviously, we, uh, we let them come, come back into the game a little bit later, so we just got to keep playing. Um, we played some really good football throughout the um, the evening, uh, mainly in the first half. So just you know those momentum shifts, we just got to you know work through them when they're not going in our favour, um, and then continually try to actually um, you know get the game going in our direction. Nice, nice. So who uh, who's going to step up in our midfield now that Tom obviously uh, isn't playing for for a while for a month? So who's going to step up this week and, and going forward? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, are you right to play? Or <laughs> I wish, mate. Not 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 just yet. But uh, no, we we uh, we've got a few um, choices. Some um, some really good boys going in the VFL. So um, Rock Smith's an example. Ed Richards been playing there back there for a couple of weeks. So um, if they come into the side, they may play inside or they might actually. Um, play a different role, which then someone from in the team pushes into the inside mix. Awesome, nice. And it's a, it was a big week for the club in signing Josh and, and Caleb um, Daniel. So that's a, how does how does that influence the, the playing group, and what kind of vibes do you get off that? Oh, I think it's good, isn't it? And any commitment from players that want to stay at your football club is really good for morale. Um, they, they, those two players are premiership players. Um, they know the system that we play in, and they're at an age where they can. Um, continually teach um, the others around them. So um, I would think it's a good thing. What do you? Yeah, no, you it's obviously huge, and they're both having tremendous years. Um, so to, to sign off the back of that, you know, obviously, hopefully they can continue that momentum throughout the year, yeah. um, and you know, finish finish off really well. And the skipper, Easton Wood, plays 150. Um, let's talk a little about him. Of not only his influence playing wise, but his leadership around the club, and and how much it means to the boys. Well, he certainly stepped into that role uh, a few years ago now when um, Bob unfortunately hurt himself and um, he thrived in that position. So um, his football was at a certain level. Um, his leadership actually has taken him to a complete different level. So um, it's, he's very good in both areas and, and one doesn't seem to affect the other like um, some uh, players around the league. Yeah, very good, very good. OK, well, uh, going to the Mercedes-Benz X-Class keys to the game. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about um, Collingwood. Um, they're in form. Some would say that you know they're probably not playing their best footy, but they've, they're nine and three, so they're sitting right near the top of the ladder. Um, what what makes the Pies such a great team, and what make, you know what are some of their strengths? Uh, good question. I reckon two of those um, losses came in the first three rounds as well, so they're certainly in form. Um, they're a dynamic group, even across all the um, three lines. So their forward line set up differently than um, most teams. And um, uh, obviously their strength, um, one of their strengths is lies through the midfield with um, Grundy and um, you know, the mid, mids underneath them. So dynamic group, um, always in games and um, can score uh, quickly, uh, which uh, tends to hurt oppositions. Yeah, and let's delve into Brody Grundy a little bit more because he is such a dominant force. How do you, how do you minimise his impact? Um, and is it a group thing or does it more um, you know, lie on, on the shoulders of Big Timmy? Oh, good question. You, know, you need a really good contest in Iraq. Um, Tim played um, fairly well against him last time, so just uh, we've just got to be consistent in that area and um, look to actually, uh, the, as a group, uh, minimise his impact and a lot of the, um, the mids around him. Yep. And, and last time we came up against them was round four. It was a pretty tight contest on a Friday night and I think we ended up losing just by, uh, by a couple of goals. So what are we going to do differently this time, or how do you reckon we're going to beat the Pies on the weekend? Yeah, it was a good good match, that one. Um, unfortunately, you just died away at the end there. So um, we, we played some really good football that night. Uh, we've got to look to be a little bit more consistent, like we were talking about it coming out of the Blues game. So that we know our best football um, can match it. Uh, just got to do it for longer. Awesome. Well, thanks, Joel. Thanks for joining us. And make sure all those Doggies fans get out to the game on the weekend, Sunday, 3.20 at Marvel. Marvel, sorry. Uh, watch us take on the pies and hopefully we'll notch up another win.